Hi, welcome to this tips and tricks video. My name is Dave Hiddeman. I'm the application specialist for the steel segment here at Trimble. And in this video today, we're going to be talking a little bit about points. Um, so there are a series of different points tools that are on the edit tab of your ribbon. Uh, some of these are actually covered in our normal course of training and some of them are pretty self-explanatory. But uh, there's a couple in here that I just wanted to cover, not all of them, but just a few that I found really helpful for either uh, unique situations, odd situations, or just situations where I wish Tecla had a snap uh, that it didn't have, and it turns out that there was a point tool that could do that for me. Um, so the point tools, all they're going to do is create a snappable work point in space for you. Um, one of the simplest ones, and this isn't really part of the video, but one of the simplest ones is add points online that we cover in our training. You set how many points you want to create between two points. You say apply, you pick two points, and it creates that number of equally spaced points. Now, the color is going to differ based on the version of Tecla that you're in, but there's always going to be two colors, one for points that are in plane and one for points that are out of the current plane. In this case, blue points are in the current plane at zero, zero, red is out of plane. Um, so in older versions of Tecla, they may be yellow and red or yellow and pink or orange and, and yellow. So they're, they're different colors depending on the versions. The idea that you can quickly visually tell, you know, when one is in the current plane and when one is out of the current plane. So for sloping and, and curving and things like that, those come in very handy. But um, the particular uh, tools that I found helpful, um, like I said, there's a lot of these in here that are pretty self-explanatory. One that I was not even aware of for the longest time was this tangent to circle. Um, so I'm going to skip ahead to this one. Like I said, it's not going to be a full kind of comprehensive video, just kind of a, a highlights here. One of the things I've missed moving to Tecla is a tangent snap. We don't have an actual tangent snap down there. So this tangent to circle it really helps fill that gap. Now you don't actually have to have a construction circle drawn in to do this, but I like to have it here as just a kind of a, a reference um, for what we're trying to show. So the way this tool works, let's say that I do have another point. I'm going to use this at any position, which is pretty self-explanatory. It just goes to any position, uh, creates a work point here. So let's say I want to snap a line from this point to the tangent on this circle. Like I said, we do not have a tangent snap. So this uh, tangent to circle point creation is extremely helpful here. Um, so what I do is I simply activate that tool. You pick the center of your radius, and like I said, the, the construction circle here is simply for visual purposes. You pick the center of the, your radius, you pick any point along that radius, and then you pick the origin point. Where, where are we trying to come from, right? So I'm going to choose that point that I just created, and then you choose which side of the circle you're trying to get a tangent to. If I want to get you know, to this side, I would snap over here somewhere. If I want to get to that side, I would snap over there somewhere. So you pick a, a direction, and that creates the new point. So now if I wanted to create a construction line, you can go from that point to the new point that's created on the circle. Now that's a snap to the tangent. So just to kind of recap on that again, let me take both of those points out. Let's say I wanted to go from this grid intersection over here to a tangent on that circle. I would go to my points tool, tangent to circle. You pick on the center of the radius, any point allow around that radius just to kind of help you find uh, where you're trying to create your tangent to. Where is the origin? Okay, where's my line starting from? So we'll, I'll just randomly pick a point over here. And then you pick a side of the circle. So last time I went to the this side, uh, the right side, let's say I wanted to snap to the left side over here, I'll just pick over here. And now there's a new snap point created. So if I wanted to lay out a line, I have a line to that tangent. So if I'm modeling in a plate, something like that, that's gonna have a curved end on it, you know, this is very, very helpful for laying those things out. Another points creation tool that I found really helpful is um, intersection of two lines. Uh, intersection of two lines is that kind of that apparent intersect is what I might be calling that. Um, if I have two members that I'm trying to extend, let's say I have a, a skewed member here, um, we'll come out say 40, uh, 48 inches, and I have another beam that I'm trying to frame to, 
Um, if I wanted to project that out, uh, there's not really a tool that I have that will snap to that intersection. Um, I've tried before to use this snap to extension line. Uh, it doesn't always work the way I want it to. So I find that the point tool makes this a lot easier. So if I go to my points uh, at intersection of two lines, all you do is you pick two points along one of those lines, you pick two points along another one of those lines, and it's going to create the extension for you to where they those two intersect. So now if I wanted to move this beam out, I can move it out to that point. So there's there's a couple ways people could accomplish that. I just I happen to really like the point command for doing that. So that's the intersection of two lines. Pick two points for your first line, pick two points for your second line, and um, it'll create that intersection point for you. The third one and the last one I want to cover in this list, and I definitely recommend you come in here and kind of play with some of these because you'll find them really, really helpful, is this intersection of part and line. Um, there are times where I wish I could snap to a surface, like the intersection of a construction line and a surface. And again, we don't really have a snap for that. So just to illustrate what this might look like, let me go ahead and create a polybeam here. So we'll come up three feet and I'll come up uh, sure, seven feet, <laughs> and we'll come up three feet, and I'll create a beam, and then we'll put a we'll put a chamfer on this beam, tell it to curve. All right, so now I've got this this beam in here, and let's say that I've got uh, a projected line um, that's off an inch and a half and kind of coming up through that beam. I mean, maybe I've got a, a couple of these guys coming in here. You know, we'll make them kind of space throughout. So I've got these lines that are, are now punching through the flange, both at the top and the bottom. And maybe I need to snap to that point for some reason. Maybe I'm trying to create a plate. Maybe I'm trying to extend something out. Um, we don't have a snap for where that passes through the surface of the part. So this is where the point tool comes in handy. If you go to your points, and again, the construction lines are really there just for a visual helper, but choose this intersection of part and line. And when, what you do first is you pick the part you're trying to create these points on, which you're projecting to, and then you pick two points along a line. And the construction lines are there as a helper, but now I've got, you can see those red points being created at the outer and inner flange where that construction line passes through. So I've found this really, really helpful for curved stuff. Any type of curving plate, bent plate, um, round like tanks and, and pipes and things like that. When I want to project a line to a, a surface of a pipe or something round, I mean, this is perfect for that. You pick your object, you pick two points along a construction line or some type of reference line, and you're going to get those inner and outer points um, wherever it passes through a surface. So that's just the few that I wanted to touch on. Like I said, there's a bunch of great point tools in there. Um, usually I look there if I cannot find a snap that does what I want. Um, as I've said before, always feel free to reach out to your local help desk for any assistance with how these tools work. Um, by the way, if, if you have some questions about tips and tricks or some ideas for something you'd like to, to see in a video, go ahead and leave those in the comments below. And um, as always, I really appreciate you guys watching today.